everyone and welcome back to the Blackford Book Club and another volume of my Central Film Reviews collection. Thanks for being there. Thanks for returning. You've got to admit one thing. You can't beat the view. Ten Oscar nominations and seven wins. 2014 was clearly the year of gravity and in Oscar parlance it almost swept the board. Wins for the director in the categories of Best Director and Film Editing. The film also won for Best Original Film Score, Sound Editing, Sound Mixing, Visual Effects and longtime collaborator Emmanuel Lubitsky finally secured a worthy Oscar win for his achievement in cinematography. Oscar wins and trinkets should not be the benchmark by which a film is deemed a success or indeed an extraordinary achievement. However, in the case of Gravity, it fully deserved these and every other accompanying plaudit. For the film is near flawless from start to finish of its lean 91 minute running time and Alfonso Cuaron deserves every possible praise for pulling off the difficult feat of making a riveting and drama filled film set entirely in space and with ostensibly just one leading character. Such a terrific piece of cinematic escapism. My one and only regret with Gravity was not having the opportunity to see this wonderful film on the big screen as it surely deserves to be seen on the largest screen possible but several reviewings later just add to the majesty of the presentation, editing, cinematography and especially the Oscar winning sound mixing. But just one word of caution should you, dear reader, not have seen this film already. If you suffer from motion sickness in any way, beware, because you may be challenged by the director's almost non-stop spinning visuals. Written jointly by the director and his son Jonas, with co-star George Clooney also uncredited as a further writing partner. The film is set entirely in space, with only seven main characters of which five are purely cameo or voice appearances, with Ed Harris being the most recognisable and vocal as Houston's Mission Control. Aside from this we have two of Hollywood's finest in co-starring roles, with co-writer Clooney starring as a reverent, talkative and crazy storyteller Matt Kowalski, and Sandra Bullock as the nervous, motion sickness suffering newbie Ryan Stone. The first 10 minutes are a tour de force of filmmaking, as with no perceptible cuts or edits, Quaron employs a continual spinning and slowly moving camera, mirroring that of the earth constantly in the background, as Kowalski, a veteran of numerous space expeditions and chiefly in charge, assists Stone in her first space shuttle mission as they repair and upgrade the ailing Hubble Space Telescope. The film's opening credits announce that space carries no sound, and this is expertly employed throughout, but within the opening 10 minutes, the sound grows louder and louder the nearer we as the audience are to the centre of the action, but it's the direction, constantly moving camera, and Lubitsky's cinematography that immediately impresses as it accompanies an irreverent and relaxed three-way conversation between Mission Control on Earth and our intrepid astronauts before debris from a rogue Russian satellite destroys the Harmony and sends an oxygen start and panicking stone spinning into outer space. With her oxygen quickly depleting and rather than enjoying the silence that stone craves for and most enjoys whilst being in space, it's Kowalski's irreverent stories and talk of the home they're rapidly spinning around that keeps her focused on the task at hand. They need to stabilise quickly and find their way to an escape pod for their return to the homes their morale boosting discussions highlight and again director and cinematographer excel here with a beautiful depiction of the sun rising across the faraway earth as they drift through outer space. There are many more director inspired highlights. The painstaking realisation of zero gravity the interchangeable camera angles and within, without, style movement from inside Stone's panic-stricken helmet and back out of and back into out of space and this only adds to the ultra-stylish and polished picture on screen. 
Again focusing on the zero gravity production, Stone swimming through the International Space Station is another wonderfully captured piece of cinema. The film truly is a wonder to watch, absorb and take in amongst the peril, terror, panic and confusion that's a staple of successful films set in the unknown of outer space. Another obvious director achievement lies in making such a successful and critically acclaimed film with only two principal albeit A-list star actors, and to retain the audience attention with so few characters on screen. Sandra Bullock received a worthy Oscar nomination for her role as Ryan Stone, the green rookie struggling to deal with her first trip into space, and magnificently, and although not recognised with an Oscar nomination, George Clooney is excellent as Matt Kowalski, her counterpoint and chief morale booster. With there only being principally two characters throughout the narrative, it almost feels as though the camera, with its inside, outside camera angles inside the astronaut's helmets as alluded to above, as an almost extra character in the film. It could also be argued that the enormity of space is a further character, but suffice to say each provides a further character layer to an already absorbing narrative. Without any further plot spoilers, I will simply add that there are, there are obvious comparisons to Ron Howard's Apollo 13, Solaris, and any host of space films from the past 50 years, and Gravity is a brilliant and worthy addition to those esteemed films. Accompanying the film is Stephen Price's Oscar-winning musical score that is a joy in and of itself. There are sporadic uses of singular tracks of music, including the highly appropriate Angels Are Hard To Find by Hank Williams, but the remainder of the music score is a joyous yet strangely haunting electronic hum at times that suits the long, continuous action captured by director Cuaron in a wonderful and inspiring film of never losing hope, never acquiescing to what fate seemingly has in store and fighting for life against all the odds. It's 91 minutes well worthy of your time. And that was Gravity, directed by Alfonso Cuaron, brought to you by Man of the Radio Head t-shirt at the end of October 2023. Reading and writing pointless, but spoiler free and heartfelt film reviews since 2012 on Even Peace and in Solidarity. And I truly and sincerely thank you for watching. Please be careful out there everyone. Peace.